Greetings, today my Focus RS, I am upgrading some of the interior lights with these goodies from AutoBeam. All right, these are what we are using then today. Two different areas and two different types of bulb, if you will. First of all then, from the AutoBeam performance range with the red stripe on top, we have two of these little items. And as you can see, LED footwell unit, that is because these are going to replace the lights in the footwells. One for each side, of course. Direct replacements, two pin, got a nice AutoBeam logo on the back. And then you've got the embedded LEDs in a little circuit board. So these will be direct replacements for the red ones that we have in the footwells at the minute. And then we move swiftly on to this one with the blue stripe. And as you can see, it's just a single unit LEDs on top. And this is going to be replacing the little bulb that we have in the glove box. So it's a single bulb, it's a white bulb, and it's just going to slot in. Now, this one is going to be a little bit easier than this one is to do. This one is a little bit awkward in order to get access to the bulb. So anyway, let's jump into the car and get started. First, I'm going to do the footwell units. All right then, in the car you can see I have my feet in the footwell now and this red thing right here, this is the footwell light that we are going to be upgrading. Um, it's obviously during the day right now, so it's maybe not so easy to see, but um, it's not a super strong light. I mean, you can just kind of see a bit of red there on this foot, um, but obviously it doesn't stretch anywhere near this side. So we'll see just how well the auto beam performance version stacks up. All right then, to install, we are going to need a basic trim tool, just um, one with a very small flat end. Okay, then you can see that this is the housing right here, and you can see it's just like floating, sort of in a bit of plastic trim kind of thing. Um, you can get your hand right away around it, as you can see. So, trim tool you want to get in at the side. It's not super easy to do that. What you can actually do, because it's just floating here on this side closest to the outside of the car, um, this part is what is holding into the plastic of this. So you can actually give that a push, loosen it a bit, and then carefully wiggle it out. So as you can see then, that is us here. So I'll just disconnect here. Just pull that right out, and that removes the housing with our existing LED unit in there. All right then, back in the garage then, we can remove the stock LED. So obviously it is a little rectangular PCB, and in this housing it's like clicked into these plastic upright bits. So we just kind of have to carefully like click it up and out of there. So you want to like sort of pry them sideways apart whilst also pushing upwards on the LED unit and then just carefully slide it out. So then side by side comparison, you can see obviously they're the exact same size, but the main difference other than the auto beam logo versus a sticker is that the auto beam version has not one, but two LEDs and those LEDs even then are significantly larger than the single stock LED. So my guess straight up is that this is going to be a lot brighter. So insulation is essentially the reverse of removing it. So obviously the LEDs here, the two white squares, you want to be pointing that way towards the bottom end here of our housing. We want to line up our two prongs. Now, you, awkwardly enough, there are three holes here, but it will only really go in one way with um, these uprights. Um, but basically it's the two on the left as you look at it. So yeah, we just kind of slot it in until it goes in as far as it can go like that. And then we just push downwards to click it into the uprights. There we go, you see, nice reassuring click. Okay, so just lining up the notch with the, the same notch on the housing. That should just click right into place. So now what I can do to test it is Essentially just close the door and then open it again. And it works. And as you can see, I have went for super duper green, Hulk green. These are available in loads of different colors. You can choose whatever color you like on the AutoBeam website. And I would encourage you to do so and it or just some customization. It's really quick, it's really simple, and it's very inexpensive and very effective, I think, mod to do um, just to customize the interior of your car. Um, so now all we need to do is to click our housing back up in here, and then we can move on to the other side. So there you go, you just 
pushes up, clicks in, and that's this side done. Well, there we go. I would definitely say that is a good bit brighter. Um, it'll be certainly much more noticeable whenever it's dark, of course. Um, but yeah, cool green. I like a bit of green. I like a bit of contrast. And this is certainly out there. So yeah, all is good. Now let's move over to the other side. So on this side, which is the passenger side, it's much more centrally located, but again, it is just like right under here in the footwell, as you would expect. So process, exactly the same. All right, sweet. So next, glove box. With public glove box, you can see, well, you can't really see, but the bulb is up in there. Um, so this one is a little bit more awkward to do. The first thing we got to do is there's a couple of T25 torque screws that we need to remove. They're like in little grooves here. So right where my thumb is here and then do 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 over here as well. So remove those first. Right, now that that's loosened, you can see that this top bar is kind of just about loose enough. Um, but what we need to do first is disconnect the electrical connection, which if you reach to the rear, you can like feel a cable in here. Let's see if I can... This is just on my finger, it's kind of hard to see. And that goes into the back of the little housing um, that our bulb is in. Until I get the housing out, it's gonna be pretty impossible to show you how to disconnect that electrical connection, but you don't just yank out like we did with those other ones. What you need to do is you need to use a very small little screwdriver. Once we've got it out, I can show you and it'll make a lot more sense. So there we go, that is that connection out so in order to do that basically there's this little like nubby bit just r sticking up right here and i what i was doing with the screwdriver was i was putting the screwdriver on the bottom of that and then pushing away and and then it just slides out um, in order to see what i was doing uh, you may have seen there that i did pull this down so that i could sort of peek in there and see so that made that a little bit easier so now that we have that disconnected we can get our bulb housing out of here so if i pry this apart it's very difficult to show you but there's like you can see the housing there and just in front of the housing there are a couple of little plastic clips so what you want to do is like push them together and then the housing should come out Well, there we go. That is our housing finally out. I must admit it was a bit of a pain to get out. It was pretty well in there, pretty fiddly and awkward, and you can't really see what you're doing. But you can kind of see these are the two little clips that we were like pushing together to then get it out. And then also these ones are round the like spring loaded bit. Also push them together and then eventually it will pop out. And then around the side here, that is where we were pushing the electrical connection it was just on the side where that sort of opening is just pushing it up this way so now if i flip this around we can see that is our stock bulb okay then we want to very carefully pop our bulb out we could dismantle this further we can also just use like some kind of a trim tool to very carefully get it in there and manipulate as you can see the bulb out and then it just slots in there so we grab our new auto beam unit and carefully line it up and click it in nice so hopefully you can see that there are a little couple of little plastic bits that mean that this can only be pushed in so far which is nice because um, it means that we aren't going to push it in too far it's going to be just the exact right amount and yeah that is us then ready to go and put this back into the car before we go over there, you can see just the difference side by side, the bulbs. Um, this is obviously just a regular type bulb. It's not LED at all, but now we are going to have a nice LED solution. So yeah, all good. Let's go back to the car. So you have just plugged it in here just with it dangling out and you can see that it is working very nicely. Um, so that's actually to be a good point where I can sort of show you a bit better. So pushing this little tab upwards to disconnect. Um, so that's what we did before, but obviously around the back. It should be pretty plain sailing to get this in place again because we just need to line it up and push it in and get these little tabs clicked into the appropriate slots. We can do the power cable now 
and then we can line it up. So we can bend this down to line it up if we want. Just do whatever you need to do. But you see, once I've got the little spring-loaded bit lined up, it should be pretty simple. So just line it up nicely, and then, yeah, just push it towards yourself. Nice reassuring click. Just having a wee peek in here. Yep, everything is in place. So yeah, that's that. Now we just need to click this back up in here and then reinstall our two screws from before. And with that, we are installation complete. So there we go, that is the installation finished on our new interior auto beam bits and I think they're really cool. They're really just a simple upgrade and pretty easy to do in general, especially the footwell bulbs. The glove box admittedly a bit fiddly to get that out, um, but once you get it out it's pretty plain sealing from there and I think it looks good. It's a nice clean colour by comparison to the stock bulb. And then yes, our green LED footwell bulbs, I think just really really awesomely cool. They're definitely brighter and the green just adds an extra bit of pizzazz as a cool easy way to do some customization in the interior of your car so i think that is awesome and i hope you liked it and i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching please do like share and subscribe for more content to come very very soon thank you once again goodbye